All right. What is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am the Oracle. I am a psychic medium, an intuitive reader, and a spiritual advisor here with some water cooler talks. So in these water cooler talks, we're going to see what's the gossip on you. What do your coworkers say about you? What do they think about you? So we're going to jump into this. All right, guys, we have three skulls you can pick from. Skull one, skull two, skull three. I'll put the timestamps for these readings down below in the description box. Before we jump into that, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back. So if you just came to talk shit, throw shade, I just return to center and out this channel. Remember, guys, you get back what you put out. All right, guys, pick your skull, and I'll see you guys at your readings. All right, group number one, we are going to see what's the gossip on you. We're going to see what's, what do your coworkers say about you? What do they think about you? Yeah, so we're just going to, you know, spill the tea today. All right, guys, let's jump into this. We're going to start by pulling a couple cards, one for you, one for your coworker. So if you have one person in particular that you're thinking about, um, yeah. Think about that person and see what's the gossip on you. Okay, so you came out as the Knight of Swords. They came out as the Ten of Pentacles. So you came out as the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who's a fast talker. They might see you as a fast talker. That's what they could be saying about you. Um... Oh, oh, they could say you're a fast talker. They, they could, they could be saying that you uh, see them as family. What the energy between you, the two of you. Is it almost like I'm getting like they're making, you're the star and they think you don't see it and they, th they, they're making money off of you. So that's what they're talking about. Yeah. That you could be making more money, but because you're so loving, you don't care about money. <laughs> what else are they saying? They could be saying that you're having, okay, so yeah, uh, that you're having victory, uh, manifesting something new. It could, they could be saying that they want to hold on to you. They don't want you to leave. Your, co your, your co-workers could be talking about your boss wanting to make you an offer, and that's why you're going to come up. So, yeah, that's what they're talking about. <laughs> what else are they saying about um, my group one? Uh, they could be saying that your boss um, got wise to somebody taking, stealing. They, so your boss could be saying that, they, yeah, that they got wise to somebody stealing. They got wise to one of their um, employees or maybe um, one of the, um, somebody beneath them, but it's still a higher up was like messing around on the job. Like, you know, um, you know, dipping their pen in the company ink. That's, you know, they got found out for that. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. What are your coworkers saying? Okay. We, we could be talking about... Um, they could be saying that... Um, like your family fell apart, that your marriage fell apart, that you're heartbroken. I could be talking about that. What else are your co um, coworkers saying? It 
like that you're no longer going to be like working at this place that you're thinking about leaving. Yeah, that you want to move on to something new, um, a new job, maybe. Yeah, new, new work opportunity, something that you care, you love, uh, you care more about because there's, you know, if you don't sleep your way to the top, you can't, you can't make it in this. Yeah, there's a lot of deception, a lot of sabotage in this work environment. So they're, they're saying that you're going to, you know, you're not going to put up with that shit and that you're going to leave and the boss is going to want to try to, you know, convince you to stay. Something like that. That's what they're saying. Okay, so what are what is being hidden from you? What is it that's being hidden from you? We have the Queen of Wands. What's being hidden from you? Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Truth. So what's being hidden from you is almost like um, you could have a coworker that's sleeping with the boss. And they're they're both like taking from you. The truth is gonna get found out, and somebody's gonna move away from this, um, this company, whatever this, whatever this is. They're gonna walk away from that, and they're gonna have success in it. And it's gonna it's going to affect um, this business. Um, because of because of the bullying that took place that caused somebody to walk away it's going to affect the work it's going to affect the business yeah their money yeah because somebody took a chance this uh, to move away from this place because w while they were there they constantly had to defend themselves they constantly had to fight against uh, many people so this could be like one really good empl uh, uh, employee and uh the their coworkers hate that they're so good so they att they all attack them and they f they're like okay you know what i'm just going to fucking leave then i can you know i don't need to be treated like this and this is going to um, cause a, a tower moment, probably, I don't know, for the boss, for the company, because this person was a good um, employee. They, they helped make this, the, this operation run smoothly, but with them gone, it's like everything is just in chaos. Because this one person moved away. Why, why did they move? Why were they being ganged up on? Because they were new. They were new. So it's like, I've been here longer. So I have more, you know, more pull here. Even though this new person is better qualified, just knows the job better, maybe. Okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to wrap this up. What is the advice for group uh, one? This unequal give and take um, in work has been causing uh, financial stress. Um, it's not worth working on. It's not worth rebuilding. So if you're thinking, should I stay? You know, this... So many burdens and you keep that, that, that hidden because you wanna, you wanna be seen as strong and um, um, capable, like I'm not gonna back down. But the truth is, it's like it's causing you, it, it's it's weighing you down with unnecessary burdens. And and if it's doing that, it's going to affect your finances. Um, you're not weak for for saying, you know what? Knowing when 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 to fold them, you know, you're not weak for that. You're wise, you're smart to say, you know what? This situation is not healthy for my mental health. It's not, I don't want that kind of energy around me. Um, you know, cause if you're happy around, you know, in your work environment, it's going to show in your work. I'm not sure what you do. I just keep getting nursing. 
yeah a carer a give uh, somebody who's who's um a caregiver so yeah this could be a nurse so this could well this could be a i saw a video about something like that earlier and i don't i don't watch these kinds of videos but it came on my news feed and it was talking about this this nurse was talking about how she was you know she thought she was you know i i don't i don't know but she's like you know she thinks very highly of herself and um it's one of the, you know that's what this the cards are saying is that she, you know she's really qualified she's good at what she does and because she might be new in in this um working in this you know hospital or this clinic or wherever she was working you have all the the nurses you know talking shit and making her um criticizing her and making her life just more difficult when they're sh they're supposed to be helping one another you know how are you going to care for another human being when you can't even care for the people and help and support the people that you work with and so that's why it's saying you know there's no point there's no um i didn't realize how catty nurses could be uh, then again you know this is why i don't have female friends because they're very catty and they just like to criticize and judge not all females but that's what i've come across and in this work environment this is what this nurse was talking about this is what she had to deal with and in this situation it's something very similar where it was saying it's saying like it, it's not worth fixing it's not worth working on this even though you want to be seen as strong and i'm not going to back down but it's going to in it's going to bleed over and affect your work. If you're a nurse, you don't want your coworkers to put you in such a shitty mood that you, you know, make a mistake. You know what I mean? Something like that. So the the best thing to do is to walk away. Okay? That's what it's saying, man. That's what I got. Yeah, they're just, just a bunch of haters, man. They want you to help them, but they don't want to help you. That's something that's hidden. And you're just like, all right, it's cool. It's cool. I got it. It's cool. But you know what? Um, yeah. You, you want to be working in a place that you, you feel happy. You feel, yeah. That you're, you're willing to put in that hard work because you know, in the end, it's going to benefit you you know, in your spirit, because you're helping people, you, you're making your money, you, you know, that's where you're going to have your victory, not, you know, having to fight battles at work when you're trying to help other people fight their battles, you know, you're supposed, you know, this is a team that should be uplifting one another, and it just, so much competitiveness, man, yeah. You have lots of options. It's saying you have lots of options. Spirit is guiding you. If you're a if you're a, a healer and you just want to do the best work you can do to help others, because that's what your spirit, that's what your soul is called to do. Um, and you have people trying to just cause chaos and just just distractions and bullshit in your life. Spirit's saying wherever you decide to go, there's options for you. You have sh you have yeah you're not stuck you know make the decision where you want to go and and go go for it spirit is leading you away from the situation that's keeping you bound and beat up and getting bullied move away from that trust your intuition you have you have new opportunities in your healing work because that's where your passion is move away from this devil these people that are cruel and that shit that's what it's saying all right Ooh. all right guys so i think i'm gonna leave that there don't forget to like share subscribe guys don't forget to check out the description box for more information on prices to, and how to schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so if not and this is where i leave you have a great one guys all right, group number two. This is your water cooler talk reading. We're gonna see what's the gossip on you, okay? We're gonna see what do your coworkers say about you? What do they really think about you? And we're gonna maybe get you some advice on how to deal with them if you're having some issues with them. All right, guys? All right, let's jump into this. All right, guys, so 
what is the gossip on my pile two? Actually, I'm gonna switch decks. At work, what's the gossip at work? What's the gossip about my, again? Just one, please. Just one card. Okay. The gossip at work about you. Could be making a decision. Hmm. Okay, so. Oh. So the gossip on you right now. So we have the Three of Wands and the Nine of Wands, okay? The Three of Wands talks about um, teamwork. Teamwork, that, I'm almost getting that they, they teamed up against you to, um, almost like beat you down. Keep like, make you, you know, to put you in a state of depression. It was a team effort online. They, the victory for them, it was a team effort to have you rejected. Yeah, they teamed up against you, against the high priestess. And they thought they got away with this. They thought they got away with um, causing you a lot of burdens. So that's what they're talking about. All right. We have the strength in reverse. Um, this is abuse of power discord so they thought they somebody like there was abuse of power there was abuse of power and somebody used their power to get a whole group of people to go against this high priestess they wanted this high priestess to be rejected um, and they thought they got away with doing this Okay. Yeah. They're happy. <laughs> They're ha they were happy with their with what they did because they thought they got away with it. So that's what they're talking about. What else are they talking about? Um, I'm getting mm. cool. You know what I'm getting? That somebody could have been like trying to put on this show that they wanted to marry you, that they wanted to have a family with you, um, and then this person just, you know, broke your heart right and they could have left you pregnant with a baby not knowing how to you know what to do and they just they took they stole from you they took your money and they took they they took your money so this is what the people at your work could you know your co-workers could be talking about yeah that there was someone that was deceptive that did this to you Damn. What else are they saying? What else are co your coworkers talking about? Got the hair off. On. Yeah, this is going back to like a marriage that somebody was in, that somebody cheated. Somebody thought this was their, you know, wish fulfillment. This person just stole from them. They lied to them. There's a lot of conflict. So this is what your coworkers are saying. 
Okay, so they're talking a lot about your shit. So let's see what's their shit. What what do you need to know about your coworkers? Since they want to be talking. Painful endings. What's this painful ending in regards to? Yeah, they got rejected. They got rejected and they're acting like everything's cool, um, happy, life is great. But behind the scenes, they're like, they're they're having, yeah, they got rejected. Their life is could be in shambles and they're trying to put on this facade that everything is cool. And their life is so, they're so miserable in their own lives. So that's why they're over here talking about you. What else can, does uh, group two need to know about their coworkers? That they're, they're, they're bullies because they're trying to hide that. Oh, they're angry. They're trying to hide that they're, the reason they're bullies is because they're angry about your new beginnings, your new abundance. Maybe they know you're going to, you know, have a good, happy family. And this person is angry because this person could have been a third party. This person could have been somebody who got in, in between you and an opportunity, a relationship, something that would have uh, made you very happy. This person got in, in the middle. This is a meddler. They created a lot of conflict. They lied. They, yeah, they wanted, they wanted this person, somebody to walk away from giving you an opportunity. You, um, an offer of love. And so they lied. They, they slandered. They slandered your name. Um, and what's hidden is that the reason they did that is because they're, they're, they're jealous. They're, you know, they're a hater. And they're mad because they've been rejected that their life is coming up, falling apart. So that's why they're, they spend so much energy talking about you. So what else do you need to know about your coworkers? The ones that are talking about you. That these people have done uh, um, spell work to make you um, depressed and unhappy. You know, at the moment they would see that you were happy in anything, they would do spell work, break your heart, to find, make, put you in a position to, to be always trying to find your way out of a difficult situation. So if they were doing this work to you, let's see what their karma is going to be. What's their karma for doing that? Again, they remember they think they got away with it. They thought Oh, so a whole group of people thought they got away with their cruelty, their bullying. So what's their karma? People are going to steal from them. The justice system is going to get involved. Their lovers are going to walk away from them. Their secrets are going to be exposed on a public stage. And people are going to reject them and end things with them. Any kind of friend, family. They're going to see them for what they are. And their whole world is going to come crashing down because judgment's being called. They're going to try to hide from this. But they're not going to be able to hide. Because this could be a boss. This could be, yeah, and, and, and the employees. Well, all right. Well, that's what we got for for group two. Any advice? Take a chance on something new. Put down the burdens. Make the dis make a choice to m move towards something new, and put down those burdens. Okay, that's the advice. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to. Um, schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so. If not, and this is where I leave you. Have a great one, group two. All right, group number three. This is your reading on what's the gossip on you. We're going to see what your coworkers are saying about you. What do they think about you? And maybe we might even get some gossip on your coworkers. All right, guys. So let's jump into this. What is it that your coworkers are saying about you? Okay. They're saying that you are worried because your money is not growing. They are saying that you're, you know, you might have some legal issues that, that you, it's not growing because you're weak. 
um, at whatever it is that you're working on. That's what they're saying. What's the truth about that, though, Spirit? They're just mad because they're, they're in conflict and you're like the real deal. Yeah, you're the real deal. You got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You're the real deal. The reason why they're talking shit is because they're in competition with you. It's like... They're in competition with you. They're worried. They're in competition. They're deceptive, but they're they're projecting, saying that you're weak, that you're you don't know how to grow anything, that you know. But you you, you know, yeah, they're toxic. This could be a toxic boss who tries to come off as wise. So that's what they're saying about you. What else are your coworkers saying about you? That they don't know if you're going to, um, I'm almost getting that they don't know if you know what they've done, the cruelty that they've, hmm. the cruelty that they've been involved in inflicting on you. I'm almost getting that they could have even tried to kill you. They're afraid of judgment being called on them. Again, with the story of um, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning that was supposed to bring you a lot of happiness, you didn't see that they were just going to cut you off and, and, and move away. And leave you. They wanted to keep you stagnant. They didn't. They wanted you to be like depressed and like, oh, I'm so sad. I can't move on. And, and they didn't want you to be like. They wanted you to be in that state, so you wouldn't take a chance on investing. They wanted you bound. They wanted you restricted. They wanted you stuck. That's what they're saying. That you you got you got unstuck. You used your intuition. They're saying that you're you're the high priestess. You know, you know their secrets. That you, it's like you stepped to someone who's strong and 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 you ended things with them. Or not ended things with them, ended things for them. Uh, they could be saying that this person that you ended things for, that you like, and you know, whatever you did, whatever secrets you you revealed, whatever deception you revealed or uncovered, um, it caused this man, this this King of Pentacles, this person's world to come crashing down. All right, even though they they were seen as very strong, um, it could have been surrounding a death. And so now they, they might want to come come towards you or send somebody towards you with like this fake love offer. It's deceptive. They just want to do something to try and keep you bound. Uh, they might want to try to keep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Be careful. Uh, the justice system is involved. So they've been watching. So yeah, things, somebody's going to get, somebody's going to get a message. Judgment's about to be called. Yep. Somebody doesn't see this coming. It's going to take, yeah, it's going to, it's, they're going to take a hit financially. Okay. All right. Tower. Yeah. Again, somebody's going to try and come towards you with some sweet offer that's going to look really good. Um, spirit saying, reject it. Walk away. It could be, it could, like I said, they could be sending somebody towards you. Um, it could be a, a relationship. So if somebody's like 
yeah, just be mindful of any love offers that come towards you. Use discernment, guys. You know, it's very easy to get fooled by these motherfuckers. It really is. You know, that's why I'm so happy I learned tarot because ain't nobody gonna fucking fool me. Nobody's gonna pull the white uh, wool over my eyes anymore. So, guys, yeah, use your discernment. Um, yeah, somebody's gonna be sent towards you. It could be a love offer. It's going to look really stable. It's going to look really good financially. Um, that's what they're going to try to communicate, that they want to work with you, collaborate with you. Everything's going to be beautiful. Take a chance on this new investment in work. It says use your intuition because there are going to be offers that are going to be coming. You don't want to reject every offer. That's why it's, the, it's important for you to use discernment, okay? Because it's going to need you to use your intuition to know what to move away from and what to, you know, what to hold on to, what to cut out and what to move towards, you know? Because there are going to be um, partnerships, collaborations that are coming, are going to come into your life. Some of them good, some of them bad. You know, don't walk away from all of them out of fear and don't accept any of them thinking, oh, well, this is for me because it looks so beautiful. Use discernment, guys, okay? And always remember, you can always feel free to reach out for your own personal information, uh, own personal readings. There's information about how to schedule your own personal readings down below in the description box, all right, guys, if you need some extra help and support, okay? All right, um, final messages for group three before I let them go. If you don't know, if you should take a chance. Choices. Don't rush into things, okay? Don't rush into things. Just because this person is like a boss and they have status doesn't mean you should just be a fool and jump into things. It's saying take some time, get a different perspective before you make this decision, okay? So that way you can have the best um, possible outcome in your investment because there are, there are, um, secrets. People are going to probably come to, to come to you saying, let's invest. They were going to, yeah, just, it's really important that you guys use discernment. All right, guys, I got to leave you guys. I have my, the little one crying. Um, so I'm going to end this one here again don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if not and this is where i leave you have a great one guys